Hey everyone and a really big warm welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video which is going to be my pack with me video. So we are packing for our family holiday to Walt Disneyland Florida. We leave in a couple of days, we're really really excited about it. I'm not actually going to put up this video until we are up in the sky because we still need to pass our fit to fly tests the day before we go so there is still a chance that we might not make it on this holiday but if you're watching this video, we've made it on our holiday and we are well and truly on our way. So a little bit of background information, if you were clicking on my video for the very first time, I am Julian and I am a mum of six, believe it or not, and that makes us a family of eight. We have two sets of twins and then we also have two other daughters. So if I just quickly run through them, I have my eldest daughter, I have my twin identical daughters, Harlow and Harper, who are age six. I have my two-year-old daughter, Amora, and then I have my baby twins who will be eight months old as we go on this trip so I really am packing for a full range of people so there's a lot to pack there's a lot to organize but it'd be worth it when we're there for those family memories also as a little disclaimer before I do start this video I'm sure in this video I'm gonna be packing away I'm gonna make it look nice and easy it's all gonna be sped up and fast and it's gonna be some cute boppy music going along with it and it will look non-stressful but let me tell you it has been stressful packing for a large family packing for a small family just packing in general can be stressful it's been a lot even to get to the point where i'm filming today i've already roughly sorted out everything that i need to pack and today it's more going to be a case of organizing it and, and putting it all in the suitcases properly i am creating content at the end of the day and there is actually a lot more stress behind packing than you will just see in this video. So what I've already done, and I will put this up on the screen as well so you can see. So this is kind of how I start my process of packing is write a list of everything I need. So I think that's pretty standard. But I will also run through each day of what everyone is wearing. So I'll write this in my notes section there. So that's it on my phone, but I'll also put it on the screen for you. So spare outfits, shoes, accessories, all of that I will write up and then I know what I have to pack and I'll tick it off as we go along. And it is a long process, but it works for me and it just helps my mind kind of know what's what when we get on holiday because otherwise I'm just in a scramble. There's so many kids to dress and outfits to find, my head would just be so muddled up. Just to show you a bit of a starting point, this section here is mainly our travel day outfits, our lateral flow tests, to do for our fit to fly, the cover that we need to put on our push chair. So this is kind of an area that doesn't need to be packed or needs to go into hand luggage. This down here is mainly hand luggage items and not organized. I've just kind of shoved everything into one area. So these suitcases here are full of items. It needs to all be organized and packed properly. Same with this suitcase over here. And I also have some scissors here because I don't know if there's tags and things I need to cut off. And we have three little hand carry bags here. They're almost packed. But I will do a separate hand luggage carry on video for what we're taking on the plane for the babies and for the kids. And then I just move these two suitcases into the room. They look like carnage and I am not going to be traveling like this. This is just the first thing I'm going to start organizing. This is mainly baby food, baby milk, our nappies and some snack foods that I'm taking out with us. So it looks like a lot, but I didn't want to risk getting all our baby food and milk out there. Of course, I want to bring our own formula and milk because I don't know what USA milk is like and whether my babies would take to that milk. So I'm definitely bringing our own formula. We have tins and we also have the ready-made cartons because they'll be great to take around the parks. I know you can also reserve and pick it up at the airport, which I am going to be doing for baby milk on the plane. I don't want to have to lug loads and loads in our hand luggage. And also, in terms of snacks, anywhere we can make a little bit of saving by taking a few items of our own from the UK, because we are a big family, then I'm going to do that. Watching sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden So now I'm going to get asked about baby food and snacks. Right now, I have just packed these packing cubes, so I'm not sure if I'm going to put these in hand luggage. Probably not this one because it's got liquids in but I might put the baby food one into our hand luggage because it's quite light. I've also separated out 
A few bits under here which I haven't organised yet, they are definitely going in hand luggage. So we have the Ella's Kitchen Melty Sticks. They love these and they find these really easy to eat. We have the Ella's Kitchen Crisp. Then we have the Wafers. Again, these are so easy to just take in the pot. Then we have the Organics Crisp. And then we also have these, the little ruskets. And then for us and the kids, I've already put a couple of sweets and some cereal bars in there for the plane journey. But we also have the cereal bars just to take into the parks, a couple of sweets, some biscuits, and then these, which if you are going on holiday to Florida, are what you need to take with you. So if you want to save a bit of money and you don't want to be buying drinks all of the time, then if you bring your own water bottles, you can fill them up at the heat fountains or at a restaurant, you could ask for water for free. And then you can add in a couple of these drops of squash. This is just concentrated squash in a smaller bottle. Also, I have two eight month old babies and I'm sure Amora will probably eat some of these snacks as well. I'm not saying they're gonna get through all of these snacks in the time period we are away. I'd rather have more and carry some home than have less. So other than baby snacks and kids snacks, we obviously have the baby food. I probably really overpacked here, but I wanted to have more than we needed. For breakfast, they will be having the Heinz First Step baby porridge. They absolutely love this porridge. I'll be bringing a bowl and a spoon for them and I'll be making this up for them in the hotel room to have before we leave for the parks. Then here we have 22 food jars. So we are going for 10 days plus two days traveling. And I just wanted to make sure we had enough jars to cover two a day almost and then we also on top of that have Ella's kitchen pouches nine Ella's kitchen meal pouches and then four of like the fruit pouches so more than we will probably need but as I said I'd rather be more prepared what I'm going to do is divide it up into two or three pouches and then if we were to lose a suitcase we still have baby food in another suitcase. And then also milk white, because I'm gonna be putting some of these pre-made cartons into these food bags. We have got 29 of the pre-made cartons and then two tubs of formula right at the end. Golden, golden things. Packing the outfit, so I just can't deal how cute this is for Ninny to wear. She's got this cute ribbed Minnie Mouse t-shirt from Zara, put up in the sale actually, and then Bloomers, which match really nicely with the pink. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this, and I wanna tell you straight just like it is. You're watching me like you want me. everywhere to sort. I've packed a majority of the kids clothing into all of these packing cubes and I'm just so impressed by how space saving they are. I still have like a few spare bits of clothing and like warm bits for the kids like their cardigans and jumpers but their main bulk of outfits have fit into all of these packing cubes and I've popped some bits into here already. So this is the first suitcase I'm starting to pack. I've packed one packing cube, that's travel day home outfits. One of the packing cubes full of baby food. We've got underwear and pajama bits in there. And then I had this little corner 
of space so I've just put some of Amora shoes in that slot there but these are just so space saving I can't believe that this is like 10 days worth of all the kids clothes one suitcase down I think what I'm gonna do is put a few towels on top so there probably is a space to lie a couple of towels and then shut it and see how much the first one weighs so I found a little gap down in here so I've added four little cartons of milk show me your love like it is like it is then open my heart like you're fearless steal all the gold so I've organised the bed a bit because these are the next few things to pack. So I thought I'd quickly run through what we have in these bags. So first of all, we've just got toiletry bits in here. It's all falling out. We've just got razors, toothpaste, the toothbrushes. Then next up we have like deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. We have a pack of ponchos here. In Florida, the rain can really pour. So if we're caught in a downpour of rain, these are the ponchos that we will take into the park. And one set of ponchos came in this Ziploc bag. So I just put them all in there to keep them together. We have a tote bag here, which I will use on like pool park days and to take extra bits into the park. Makeup bag here. There's nothing really in here apart from makeup wipes at the moment because I will pack my makeup in last minute. We have skincare bits, moisturizer, face wash, after some, some baby wash bits here. Our medicine bag here, so this has got teething bits for the baby, paracetamol, imodium, diorolite, plasters, a nail file, just kind of a mini first aid kit for us on holiday. Here is cotton buds, more soap, flannels, and wash sponges. This bag here, and I have another plastic bag to double bag it, is some bottle cleaner. I've also packed a mini washing powder. If they do get something stained, I'll be able to soak it in the sink in the hotel room. Then we also have washing up liquid, which I've decanted into this small bottle here, and a bottle brush to wash the baby's bottles and like feeding bowl and utensils. In here, we've got some sun cream and some water spray to keep us cool in the parks. In here, we have the Milton sterilizing tablets for sterilizing the baby bottles. I have decanted my vitamins and like omega-3 tablets, collagen tablets that I take every day. So I've just got them in there. Just a week's worth. I mean, I miss a few days, but that's fine. Cow pole for the kids and babies. That is a must have. Then in here, we have a random bag of items, but we have the travel iron, a couple of baby bowls and some baby spoons, which we'll use to give them their breakfast in the morning. And we we'll use the spoons around the park to feed them their food. I also have these picnic cutleries which I like to pack in our changing bag so these are really handy you have the spoon the fork and the knife and you also have chopsticks in there which I can't say I've ever used the chopstick option but I suppose it's always good to have we also have in here a couple of travel adapters someone gave me the tip of bringing an extension lead so that you only have to use one travel adapter and you've got a few plugs but to be honest I'm not going to do that I'm sure we will make do the hand luggage bags for the girls I'll go through that in my hand luggage video we have a bag here full of brushes clips and in there's the bobby pins and hair bubbles and then back here are just a few holiday bits armbands i found these super cute holiday baskets which i forgot i had goggles and then there is a bat and ball there you can get, you can get. show me your love leave me breathless breathless house is in the building so if you can hear background noise that will be the kids and the rest of the family but this is our suitcases for our Disney trip all packed and ready to go this doesn't include our hands luggage I'll be doing a separate video on our hand luggage we ended up borrowing these from AIDS mum and dad they kindly have let us borrow their suitcases and these are actually really good they are huge really really big really good quality they've got the locks on the side i'm not actually sure where they got these from but they are really good on the front they do say 
trip. So I know I'm gonna get questions about these suitcases because when I showed them on my Instagram, I already had a few questions about them. They are from Primark. So the three at the front here, which are slightly rounder in shape, these we bought five years ago and they have lasted us so well. Granted, because of the pandemic, they haven't been used for the past couple of years, but they are such good cases. And then this one is the new suitcase from Primark. So just to show you an update, they're pretty much the same. I actually do prefer the square shape just because I feel like you can get that little bit more in that case. It just seems that little tiny bit bigger. We have weighed them and they are all just on weight. I think a couple are just under, but we're hoping that across the board of all our suitcases, they will be well within the weight range. But that is us all ready and packed now to go as a family of eight on a long haul flight. Things I packed off camera were my items, aid items, so clothing, shoes. I have my list here which I have ticked off everything now so that is a really really good feeling. So all of these suitcases are now going to go in the car just so that they are ready to go on travel day. We're just going to leave out one suitcase which we will need to pack things in either the night before or the morning of. So some toiletries, last minute toiletries we may need to use and bits that need charging. Apart from that, we are all ready to roll and that's gonna bring me to the end of this video. So I really hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up if you did like it. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in a video again soon. Bye.